Hey guys, this is Sam here at NA Studios. Today I'm going to show you a crazy easy way of editing drums in Logic Pro. You don't have to drag around any markers, you can just hit a couple of buttons and you can have perfect timing for your drums. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit like, let's get straight into it. Alright, so this all bases around the, um, the Flex Time module which we have in Logic, which is fantastic. We can do so much stuff, we can do it for vocals, drums, whatever. But here I want to um, time my drums. So the drums that I've got at the moment are fine, they're a little out of time though, they're a little dragging. Let's take a listen to the intro. Okay, so they're fine, but they could be a lot tighter. What I'm going to do is just concentrate on one section that I know the hits are more or less of similar note value. So I know that there's not too many 16th notes or semi-quavers in there, um, especially on the, the kick and snare, basically. Um, and we're going to have a pretty solid bass to work out. So I'm going to select this uh, this first section. I'm just going to make a cut. So most importantly, I've got all my drums in a group. So if I select one of them, it, it selects all of them. That's very important. Um, where my cursor is here, I'm going to press Command T, and that's going to create a cut. So that all this intro section is just in one one section of regions, um, and I can work on just that. So let's zoom in a little bit on this, and we can see um, the actual waveforms. I'm going to use flex time here. Um, I'm going to press Command and F, and automatically it will go to polyphonic. That's not what we want. If we're doing drums, we're going to go to um, slicing. And this means it's just going to detect all the transients, essentially, and it's going to work on it on a transient basis. And that's exactly what we want to do here. So I've got all my hits, I've got all my flex points that Flex has just um, created for me. Now it's telling me exactly where all my hits are. You can see if I zoom in on the snare drum here, it's telling me there's a hit there, it's telling me there's a hit on the kick. Um, what I don't want though is for it to listen to the overheads as well, because if there's hi-hat in there, um, it can sometimes be that the transients aren't quite as clear in that hi-hat as they are in the kick and snare. So I don't want it to listen to that as much. So I'm going to take off my cue reference for my overheads and you'll see some of these points disappear. Excellent. So we know that they are points that the uh, flex algorithm has picked up as being transients, but we kind of just want the overheads to follow the kick and snare in this instance. There's not too much on the toms, um, but should there be later on, we're going to uh, leave cue reference on those as well. So cue reference is just a way of telling flex what you want it to listen to. So we can see that it's got all the hits here. We're in slicing mode. Um, we can, if we want, um, zoom in and take a look at exactly where these notes are and say, right, that one's a little bit before, so I'm going to drag that. But that's a little bit cumbersome, and I don't particularly want to do that. So just listening to the kick and snare, I can hear there's um, the fastest hits, as in the shortest hits, are going to be eighth notes or quavers. There's nothing faster than that. So all I'm going to do, really simple, is select all my regions here, up in the inspector on the left, where it says quantize off, I'm going to put that to quantize eighth note. And you'll see all these hits become movable markers. Brilliant. Just with a couple of hits there, we've managed to quantize this section and make it perfectly in time. Let's take a listen to it with the click on. Press K and we'll hear the click. as opposed to before, when we didn't have flex on, if we turn flex off all these, we'll take a listen to how it sounded before, with the click on. The fact that you can hear the click there means that it's not being played on the click. The kind of idea is that if it's perfectly in time, you should have a kick or a snare or a drum on exactly where the clicks are, so you shouldn't really be able to hear it. So we know that that is far better in time. So I'm going to pop flex back on, and we've got a beautifully in time part. What I sometimes do is if I've got a fill where there's 16th notes or semi quavers, um, I will select just that region. So this one, for example, I can select just that section, make it separate, and then I can quantize just that section to 16th notes. And I know that I can not affect the rest of it, and it's just going to affect that one section, which is really handy. So there you go, super quick, super simple, a really easy way of using flex time to quantize your drums and not make it so that you've got to drag around all your markers, not make it so that it's a more convoluted process than it needs to be. A couple of clicks and you're there with perfect in-time drums. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.